Hi guys, and welcome to another Funky Fly Tying tutorial. We're going to look at a booby pattern. In the last 10 years, the candy booby, originating up in Scotland, has propagated loads of different variations. This is just one of them. This is the purple and baby pink, and it seems to be working really well just now. Whether that's because the eyes are a little bit different from the normal colours that people use, white and yellow, who knows? But I know that it's effective and a lot of people are fishing it, so let's go ahead and tie it. And before I do, let's get my goggles on so I can see where I'm going. So in the vise, I'm going to put a, a short shank special, size six. This is a short shank hook, um, rather than your normal trad wet hooks. Now the reason for that is, I'm using quite big booby eyes. Um, quite big. So I'm just gonna come in, and I'm gonna lay on a bit of tying thread. Just make this a little bit looser to work with. A little bit of tying thread. And I'm gonna come down the body, um, use the whole body, because it's a short shank hook, just use the whole body there, and come in and snip. Now we've got this stuff, this is a, look at that, baby pink marabou, gorgeous stuff. Um, but when it's in the water, it's like a, I don't know, milky white, just off white, who knows, it works, it's better than the proper white white. And I'm going to get quite a large amount there, I'm going to spin that to bind them together. And that's going to be my, my tail. So, I want to leave myself, forgive me, I'm just blowing some of the fibres out of the way, I want to leave myself some space at the front of the hook shank because I've got to get my booby eyes on there, so bear that in mind. Coming down. And because I want a nice and neat body, I'm going to try and take out any lumps and bumps here. Doesn't matter if there's there's some, um, but just take out as much as you can. Come in there at an angle, smooth that off. So you've got a taper, like so. Now we've got a smooth body here to work with. We're now going to use a, it's a really rich purple, royal purple. Would that be the right colour? Um, but yeah, a really vibrant purple colour. I'm going to touch that in on my side of the hook shank, and I want the same tag length to be the whole length of the body. Well, up to the point where I'm going to tie my eyes in. Like so. I'm now going to get a little bit of uh, varnish, and the reason for that is I want the this holographic to adhere to the body. I didn't want to be using a rib, if you like, this varnishes my rib. It's, it's pulling everything into the body of the fly. So I'm just going to part this thread so it's out of my way. And come in, and what we're going to do is overlap and turns there. So there should be no spaces. And what it's doing is, every time I wrap up the shank, it's pushing that little bit of varnish up the shank ahead of its cell. So every turn, that um, holographic's got something to adhere to. There we go. I'll just stick in a, a little half hitch here. I quite like half hitches or, or a single um, twist with a whip finisher because it just locks everything. So now we've got our wing. And to make this a little bit thinner, you can if you run your thumb and forefinger, it compresses the fibres. It just makes everything a little bit easier to tie with. There's not as much bulk there. Come in with a pinch and loop and secure. A couple of turns. See how that's looking on the camera. Forgive the noise here, I've got a squeaky chair. Coming at an angle and snip that. And what we'll do is, with this um, light thread, it's just a, any tiny thread I'll do, white, light, just a light colour, create a little bit of a taper and then Whip finish because to get the eyes I want the way I want them, I prefer to use floss. Um, it doesn't cut into the booby eyes as much as a thread does. Now here I've got. I'll just stick this on my bodkin, bodkin so you can see. Is my this started life is booby cord, and all I've done is I've cut it to size and shaped the edges, but just 
trimming around it with the scissors, just come in at an angle and trim around in a circle. And what to do is stick them in some tin foil, a little tray of tin foil, and stick them in the oven for 30 to 40 seconds at 180 degrees. And what happens is it smooths these edges. Yes, it's finicky, but it saves a lot of spinning when you're fishing these flies because everything's nice and smooth. So to attach these eyes, I've got my, my purple uh, floss here now. I'm going to come up and create a little bed to tie on. Come up to where you, where the body, the wing meets the body. Give yourself enough space. And then come back down somewhere central on this um, top thorax area, if you like. I'm just gonna keep all these fibers together like so. And come in with your little pellet, booby pellet, if you like, and catch it halfway tight. And what you're going to get is, if you can see that when I bring it up to the fly, you've got a set of booby eyes that are perfect either side. And just lock them in place like so. Once they're on the top of the hook shank, you just want to take a couple of turns right to left. A bit too feisty with that one. A couple of turns right to left and then come into the other side and then a couple of turns left to right. And what that does is it locks everything in place. And then we, like you would use with bead chain eyes or dumbbell eyes is you come up, got a little bit of marabou there, you come up and through just like you would with uh, where your dumbbell eyes, a figure of eight thread wrap. And what it does is it locks everything tight and in place. One more wrap that side, keep everything even. How's that looking? Spot on. In with my whip finishing tool, and then just pull the eyes back and whip finish in there. Now you can, it makes a more durable fly. You can come in and you can use a, a UV resin, a bit of super glue. However, just quite like varnish. Coming under the fly, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to have to shift this a tiny fraction while I do this. I'll get it back into position. Just come in, try not to get varnish everywhere. And a couple of little dabs, that's it. Just a couple of little dabs like so. You can see, get the fly back into position. There, and there we have it. I'm just going to quickly, I might as well get varnish all over the place, tidy that varnish up. Just come in and with your thumb and forefinger, just pinch and you've got the perfect little booby. Purple and pink candy. Try it, washing line, sinking line, pull it, fish it static on the drop, it's going to work.